Halo City Basie, Kami Baby Gravy. Check out my interview with Creative Disc, the number one music website in Indonesia, baby. If you All don't, right. I will find you and I will arrest you. Hello, City Bestie. Welcome back to Creative Disc exclusive interview with me, Lutfi. And right now we have a special guest today, a very, 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 very special one because the one that uh, two of two of them I already interview him before a day them before. So the first one is you know the rapper with his viral song because he put Rick Astley's song "Never Gonna Give You Up." I already interviewed him before. It's called Young Gravy, and uh, and another one is another rapper who's love shit posting just like me. Loves meme culture and everything, and I already seen him on Jakarta Live, and he's so so very very sexy right now because he's covering I'm Too Sexy from Right Side Fred, the Babe No Money, oh, yeah, the Baby No Money, and they fuse together. To becoming baby gravy. So without further ado, this is Babe No Money and Young Gravy from Baby Gravy. We are the baby gravy. That is us. Yes, sir. Okay. Know, baby. So baby and gravy. Uh, it's kind of like <laughs> awkward, like like baby and gravy. Like, uh, okay, baby, baby first, baby first. Uh, what kind of activity that you are doing recently right now? Besides, you are sitting on the secret lab like a program programmer move. I don't need to say anything other than Diablo 4. What the fuck? You you know Diablo? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I downloaded it. I played it yesterday for like 18 hours straight. It was so sick. Uh, but he invited I'm me to join of... him, man. And I, I made an account. And then I'm like, all right, bro, just give me a sec to catch up. And then I wake up and he's fucking double my, li- double my level. And I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> no chance now, man. Man went crazy. But that's pretty I'm much like, all I've been doing for the past two days. Uh, Okay, so I've been doing that Zelda too, bro. I'm not gonna lie, it's to, Zelda. to the season. Okay, okay. Yeah, I broke I broke both my arms, so uh, video games are are in right now. Ah, well, what's happened with your arms right now? Uh, I fell. It's not a really cool story. I just fell at a at a uh, uh festival and I broke my elbow and my wrist. Ah. Um, doesn't hurt that bad. I'm fine, but uh, yeah. Okay. It's kind of rough, but hey, man, I'm surviving. I'm uh, I got a, I got the new home. Oh wow! I'm decking up. I can't really, oh I can't, wow! I can't do any of the uh, physical labor right now because I'm broken. So everybody else has been handling it, mm. and it's uh, it's all good, baby. Coming together. So I'm in LA. Okay, so okay, let's talk about uh your uh newest music project called BB Gravy first. So, who's starting Baby Gravy idea first on back on like 2020, I guess? Who's who who come with the idea first? 2017, I 2017, think. 2017, oh my, oh lord, okay. Yeah, first I mean, album with- <clears throat> I think it was you, Matt. I think you were just like, what should we call it? And then I think you said Baby Gravy, and I was like, oh, well, that works. Hmm. And that was it. We made two songs together, and I was like, all right, well, that's pretty much an album. So I was like, let's make a couple more. Let's make a couple more. Is that the first? That's the most I ever collaborated with somebody before. So I was like, all right, well, we got two, so I might as well just make a whole album. Now we have like forty songs. More. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now we have a shitload, and uh, there's only one that we don't like. I think everything else is pretty good. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so who's who's uh? I I think like whose idea to want to make music first, the uh baby one or you, Young Gravy? Uh, I think Alex, I don't know how long you've been making music before me, maybe like a year, but oh, wow. uh, he had made music first. I think it, yeah, yeah, you started our minds. You started 2016 in May, right? Late 2016. Late 2016. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I started like like Octo- October, November 2015. So pretty close timing wise. Close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I had like a couple more followers than he did, 
when I first messaged him. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we made like five, six, seven songs mm. by the time that then <clears throat> I think you blew up. It was like, oh, well, actually, I don't know when. I don't remember this dude. This is so old. Like, oh, I have one other. I have one of my own songs called Mr. Clean, and then basically the next song for me to blow up was Rotisserie. That was the two of us, and for both of us, that was like our biggest song for a long time. Um, yeah, which we dropped on that EP as like the basically like the title track, not title track, focus track, and um, that was our first music video we shot together, and uh, from there. We started the baby gravy. Okay, yeah, legendary. Okay, Epic. okay, okay, okay. So, uh, let's talk about your new single, "Goodness Gracious." Can you talk? Uh, can you tell me the detail about uh, the song itself? He started it, and I yeah. liked it a lot. And I just put some verses on it, and it was pretty. It, it was. It's a little bit more on the pop side, which is more of his sort of bread and butter than bread of mine. Hmm? But I liked the sort of uh rhythm and made some verses and uh it ended up working out real nice and i had a i had a show in hawaii on my tour mm. that he had most dates off and i was like yeah this sounds like a surf song you should come out here and we should surf and turn a video out and it worked out super well we made a dope video out out in hawaii see it's interesting man because it's like there's usually a story to how people make music but like when we make music it's just we're literally just making music like there's nothing to it like it's like hey man want to make a song oh i think you sound i think you sound really good on this and that's pretty much it i wish i wish i could come to you like every day be like yeah we were fighting like boars in like the forest in like i don't know some crazy remote country And we were yeah. under under attack and being chased by Russia sp Russian spies. Yeah, man. and they were all and they were all like naked, beautiful, hot women Russian spies, and and we were just like, no, we can't sleep with them. No, we can't. And we were just like oh. killing all these boars. And then this guy came up to us and was like, oh, crazy man! Like, there's a here's a microphone. And then Matt was like, let me freestyle in front of the girls so they run away from us. And yeah, that's how we that's how we made this song. Sixty four boars, bro. We took them all down, man. Yeah. Uh, stop. Oh, boars geez. and boars. You already know. Ah. You're going crazy. <laughs> no, we. Uh, <laughs> I think anyone that that says a crazy story about making a song is probably making it up. That's what I do when TMZ finds me in the street. I'll just say like I'm in a random country and I'm some something I did there. Um, I think most people just go to the studio, man. That's kind of like, it's just like the office for us. And uh, mm. we both know what the other one likes because we made a lot of music so far. And we both know when something could be a hit and it makes sense for us. So we'll, uh, we're not, sadly, we're not together that often. So we're usually just texting back MP3s between each other and eventually we get a banger. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, you already... I uh, want to really sing your new project uh, called Baby Gravy Tree. Am I am I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why Baby Gravy Tree? Why you you so lazy naming your title Baby Gravy Tree, Baby Gravy Four? There's not a, mm -hmm. a, a ambitious title behind it. Why yeah, only like, Baby Gravy like, Tree? Like John Wick Four, bro. It's like people know what they want. They came for something special, man. They came for some John Wick. They came for some baby gravy, you know. Was, I like, I just watched John Wick Four yesterday on the plane, and I was just like, this movie is absurd. I don't know if you've ever if have you watched it, dude. It's like, Ooh. it's 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 just it's straight like, murdering for like two and a half hours. It's yeah, insane. It's, it's not like we we don't like we we don't need to be Jurassic Park where every every time we drop a movie it has like a weird little subtitle, you know, mm. like an extra title to it, like the world or the mm. the the dominatrix whatever they call their movies man we which just baby gravy two, baby the gravy Dom three <laughs> yo we, we, i mean we, baby gravy yes. three the chronicles of a sub boy and a dumb man yeah you know the the it's, it's up to your interpretation the uh the <laughs> the actual story you know we'll, we'll talk some shit <laughs> on the project and you can decide what the uh you know the fun prince is But if you can put the title underneath your uh underneath your uh, baby gravy tree, what kind of fitting title that you want to put on there? 
I I came up with like the chronicles of Alex and Matt in world of something. I can't remember what I said, but it was like chronicles of that, and then I don't know, didn't really get very far with it. But uh, we have talked about it. Um, uh, baby meets gravy. Uh, taking your lady, or it's a. Baby living in a gravy world. Baby living in a gravy world. Mm, that's Our... so spicy. Mm. Yes. Yeah, saucy, baby. You already know. Baby okay. gravy. Yeah, the baby living in a gravy world. Okay, I want to uh, ask a specific question to Alex first. Uh, Alex, you are going uh, already to Indonesia. How is Indonesia in your opinion? It's sick. It's Jakarta was so busy. Like like really really busy city you know i've been to like vietnam i've been to like beijing shanghai mm-hmm. and i feel like jakarta was like arguably on par with how chaotic it was mm-hmm. but it's like it's so like relaxing it's weird when there's so much chaos it's like relaxing in a sense because everything is so high high like high stimuli mm-hmm. um but the food was so good i ended up having uh what's that like very spicy I had nasi goreng from this on the street. That, mm. that was delicious. But what's the spice? Super black, spice. Black. Uh, Mi goreng. No beef. Mm. Beef rendang. I had beef rendang. It was so so good. Um, yeah, the show was good. It was fun. It was mm. funny. Mm. Uh, yeah, everything, dude. Everything about Asia is amazing. I love Asia. But Indonesia, was, Indonesia was really cool. I had no idea how big it was. It was the same amount of population as America. Yes. And it's just so much smaller. It's so crazy. Like islands and shit. Yeah, it's really crazy. Yeah. But do you remember when you are in Indonesia, you're showing on Indonesia, Alex, you bring like uh, you bring like an audience with uh with with the same face like uh young gravy like 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 Matsu? Do you remember that? Because because I think there's our similarity to Matt to the the young gravy one. Like, did I bring someone up on stage? Yes. Did you forget that? I do. Oh, from the Hon- Honestly, I do forget a lot of things. Uh, Shows. Yeah, you brought I, someone on stage that to rap my my parts or what? Yeah, I think, and I think, I think the person killed it. To be honest, <laughs> it's amazing when that happens, man. Yeah. yeah. A lot of times, you can bring someone up, they can just go so bad, but it, but uh, yeah. when it works, it's awesome. You know what I realized? Women kill it harder every time. Yes, yeah, it is. If a woman has the balls to do it, I mean, that doesn't really make sense what I said, but if they have the confidence to go ahead and do that, mm-hmm. women are smarter than men, and, and they just know, you know, if, they, if they're if they going to raise their hand, they're, they're ready. Dudes yes, are yeah. just going to be drunk and ready to just do their thing, you know? And they always fuck up when they get up there. I think, yeah. I think that's that, like, the ratio of men that I've had on stage trying to rap his lyrics versus women, I th- yeah, ratio is oh, really? so fucking off. Yeah. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, okay, uh, about this, uh, uh, about this baby gravy project. Like, can you tell me the sweetest moment on your friendship, on your on your friendship, uh, with uh, Alex with, uh, Matt and Matt with Alex. The sweetest it's like moment. The sweetest moment ever. Yes. Of our relationship. Yes. Uh like we spent some good, like considerable moments together. Um yeah, there's all there's definitely been a lot of moments that I've been like, damn, like I got I'm to gonna... bring Alex one of my favorite sorry to interrupt. You just talk, bro. Let me go. Uh one of my favorite <laughs> weekends of like my life <laughs> was uh was this past fall for thanksgiving mm-hmm. um uh i had a bunch of good friends back in my hometown my mom mm-hmm. was there and a lot of my good friends were there from mm-hmm. from my childhood and we all mm-hmm. went to this football game and then did thanksgiving together and he got to join us for all that and that mm-hmm. was awesome amazing that was a really good time uh, mm-hmm. that was a really yeah. good time. so that's yeah minnesota you at the u.s thanksgiving not the canadian one um that was great we we've Whenever I visit him in Vancouver, it's really good too. I think it when we get to go to each other's sort of homes and see the you know our each other's life, 
outside of music it's it's always a great oh great wow time. yeah i would say <clears throat> the first time we ever met it kind of uh i don't know how to explain it but i just mm. remember being like if this guy went to my high school i would have been friends with him oh wow um, so, so sweet. and i just like i just like had that feeling and all mm. of my friends that we were like traveling we we drove mm. from vancouver down to la because he was mm. having like meetings at record labels and stuff and mm. um it just like it was a really good experience it was the first time i ever went to la like Mm. you know it it was it was cool because that was right when i was like all right i'm quitting i'm quitting my nine to five job i'm never oh, working wow. a job again like mm. i'm just gonna i'm gonna take the leap of faith um and that like solidified me being like you know what like if you can do it i can do it like i'm just gonna work extra hard like i gotta mm. catch up um and uh yeah it's been it's been great to be I was actually, I slept over at his house recently and he wasn't there. Oh, wow. And I was looking, I didn't sleep that well because I, I just broke up with my girlfriend at the time and mm. uh, I was just literally unironically crying uh, oh. in your bed. Matt, I'm sorry. I, I was crying a bunch <laughs> in your bed. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I was standing on your, your porch mm. and I was like, dude, this is nuts. Oh, like, wow. you know, like, seeing from where we both were like six years ago to where we are where we are now like and like i genuinely like yeah we disagree on things sometimes but i genuinely mm. don't think that like our friendship has changed that one bit mm. genuinely mm. and it's nice i don't know how else to put it it's like it's just like uh, it's rewarding to be friends with someone that i can actually like confide in i don't know Oh my god, that's a whole and like I and I can kiss him too. Ooh, yeah, y'all are into that over there, but <laughs> you already know, baby. I okay. uh, yeah, the the crib here, I I wouldn't have gotten a guest house if I didn't know Alex, and mm. you know, I want to have some more gang time out here and mm. got a studio. Mm. So baby, four through eighteen are probably coming soon. Mm. <laughs> Dude, if we do get to 18, I will, at that point, if we're still pumping, we're probably doing really good. If we're doing 18, I will mm -hmm. buy you uh, a $200,000 Rolex. Oh! And I swear on it. I swear on it right now. I will buy that for you. If we're still right. doing 18th album, I will buy that for you. All right. All right. All right. I'll buy you, I'll buy you the equivalent, bro. Okay. <laughs> That's a promise recorded like on the screen right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's like gonna be at album. the rate that's what? gonna be like in 48 years <laughs> yeah no i think yeah if we're if we're pumping at this rate it's been about five years since the first one yeah man it's we'll be we'll be decrepit but all good bro okay my very 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 last question what's your hope about this baby gravy project what's next What's what's next for this baby gravy project besides you're releasing your album? You want to conquer the world, I guess. We're I want to do another tour. We, we a, yeah, we we did our first tour, mm. not our first tour, our our like most recent tour that we did together. It was mm. a lot different than the previous ones, and it was huge and it was fucking awesome. So I want to do another one like that mm. outside of just like big US cities. We're all over. Oh, yeah, I think I think we're gonna be doing probably something next year. Man, what are you drinking? Oh, what the lychee? No, that's that ain't no lychee. You, you know that's that. you know that's the dirty murky pee water. No, I took a sip of that and I thought I don't know. I thought it was something else, and I, it, it tasted like nothing at all. Mm. I'm gonna do some research on that after this and report back to you. I don't want to throw up. <clears throat> <laughs> Woo! That was not good at all, man. I forgot it's what that right, was. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's a wrap for our interview. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Alex and Matt, for this another random interview. I really, really appreciate that because you guys always make uh both my days. So thank you so much for this one, this interview. I'm Lutfi signing out. See you on another interview. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Peace, brother. Bye.